how to copy graphs from Google Sheets to Google Sites. You want to go to the Google Waffle, go to Sites, and you'll come into Classic Sites at first. You want to go to New Sites and find your web, your personal website for weather. Click on it. I'm going to use Lily's. Opens up here, and first thing I want to do is add a new page where we're going to put these graphs. So hit the plus sign at the bottom there to add a page. Let's call it analysis. And it'll just take a few seconds for the new page to pop in there, and it will appear at the top of the website. There it is. All right, so now I'm going to go back to home and open up. The Google Sheet that has the data. So hit the expand button there. It's going to open up a new tab, which is great because we're going to go back and forth from this tab to the Google Site tab. And looking for the graphs now, I got to scroll down a little bit. And here are the six that Lily had. And I'm going to show up, moving up a couple of them. So Click on it. Control C might copy. The drop down menu there on the three dots actually has a copy command to copy the graph. So copy the graph and then go to Google Sites. Go to the page where we're going to put it, which is the analysis page. And on the analysis page, we're going to pick a layout here. I think this one works all right. This has two pictures with captions below. So we'll choose that. And I'm going to click on this and do Control V, and it will pop the graph below it, actually, not into the image uh, square. You just drag it up, put it where you want it, and uh, looks good. Now we're going to type, put in, uh, actually, we're going to go back get the second one first. Control C might do it, but copy off the menu, copy graph, and now Control V works here. It pops it down below. Click and drag it up to where you want that graph to go. Now we have the two graphs, but we want to fill out the captions. So this one here, whatever the title of the graph is, that should be uh, the, the caption. Temperature versus humidity on this one. That's what I saw on the graph. And uh, let's talk about correlation. No correlation on that. And the other graph, it's wind versus temperature. And it looks like there's no correlation in that, so we'll fill that in. And you're going to want to do this for all the graphs that you have. Hopefully you have all six. Um, all right, and we'll see them there. And this is your assignment for the weekend. Hope it's a good one.